Afternoon guys, welcome back to Don A. Mott's today. Um, you've got myself James and you've got Wendy as normal behind the camera. Um, but behind me you've got this lovely um, grey metallic uh, VW Transporter. Uh, so this is a Camper King and this is the Le Mans version. So it's pretty much top spec is what you can get on the Camper King. Um, you'll see as we go round you've got a lot of bells and whistles inside. Um, so it's 2016, so not an old van. It's only done 73,000 miles. 2 litre diesel manual, 5 speed gearbox and it's the 102 PS uh, version of the engine. Um, so this sleeps 4 people, travels 5 people, so you've got the extra belt in the back. So you've got 3 in the back, 2 in the front. Nice van. Let's come and have a look around. So it's long wheelbase, so slightly longer back here as well, well obviously. Um, but you'll notice that on the inside, you've got these upgraded alloy wheels as well with the metallic black with the diamond um, facing on them. Now this is the twin barn door version so as we come round if I open this yeah. you'll see it's got the Titan bed in it as well so that gives you this shelf, a parcel shelf I guess you could argue and then it just gives you that split sectioning so when you are travelling you can easily carry stuff on here or carry stuff below but you don't have to stack stuff makes things a lot lot easier. I think these Coming. are just on there to help with the to do the rib bed. Yeah, bet they are. Yeah. Which makes perfect sense. <laughs> so in there you've got a couple of fuses. Yeah. All your technical stuff, shall I say, but more importantly, storage. Yeah. You'll hear me use a lot of that word today. Um under here is where your gas bottle sits, just your little camping gas bottles that everyone has. And back there, well that's just one of the legs or yeah. arms, shall I say, for your table. On the table. Right. So, oh, uh, well, before I shut that, yeah. you'll see up here as well, you've got your blinds, and that's the same on the other side as well. So you can have it fully blacked out, Fab. obviously for night time. All right, coming round. So for those of you that have noticed, you've got this wonderful Dometic awning up here. Perfect for those sunny days, gives you a bit of shade. But secondly, just in here as well, you've got a runner. So depending if you have got a driveway awning or an awning, check it, but some will connect into that again just to double the space of your van just to give you that bit more you know, overall livable space isn't it really yeah. all right open that wonderful sliding door and it gives you this brilliant view inside the van so you've got your diamond stitching kind of quilted style faux leather seats captain's chair on the front if you remember i mentioned an arm in the back for a table a boom arm so it's yeah. for down there yeah. so if you wanted to move one of these you could do or have an extra one you could do world your oyster mm -hmm. Um, so you'll notice two seat belts in the front, three in the back, yeah. and your bed pulls out. So just to pretty much where you guys are, Wendy's yeah. standing, exactly, exactly. So your your main difference to remember with a long wheelbase is just here. Yeah. So normally in these vans, this seat will stop just here. So that's where your extra thirty six centimeters is. That makes a huge difference. Yeah. You know, you guys probably can't tell that well with perspectives on videos, but when you're here, that makes a world of difference. Mm -hmm. So behind you guys and Wendy is this wonderful kitchenette area. So you've got your cold running water and your two gas burning hobs. Beneath that, you've got your wonderful fridge with a freezer section as well, all done by Dometic. Yeah. And then to the right of that, you've got two storage areas. You've got a, that's you want, with my wonderful assistant, <laughs> thanking you, Wendy. Okay, and then, the yeah, there is. Like I said earlier, I'll be using that word a lot. So you've got a couple of cupboards there and then a drop down cupboard to the right of that as well. And then up above, you've got two more. Thank you, Wend. Yeah. Again, it might not look like much, but honestly, when you're going away in these, yeah, it I all makes, it's... yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then to the side, you've got two plug sockets, and then you've also got a USB connector as well, yeah. or two USB connectors, sorry. Your Webasto diesel heating, so that runs off your diesel, not gas luckily, and also your main control panel. Just to the right and above where Wendy was sitting then, you've yeah, even more storage. And they're both the same. Again, they're a fair bit deeper in all yeah, fairness. A fair, fair bit deeper. It, it is. Now, you'll also notice around here, so I'll put my hand under it so you can see quite well, but you've got lights all round here. And again, all round here, you've got more lights as you follow me round as yeah. well. Now, at the moment, we've got it contrasting. So you can see that there are windows and then same again if I do that, you'll see there's another window there as well. And then also yep. that's another window as well. And then up here, you've got a Velcro section, which is a ventilation. So if it yeah. is nice and warm, 
open that and it gives you a bit of fresh air. They are very light vans. I've been away in these. You barely need the lights on unless it gets to, you know, deep winter. Yeah. Naturally, you're going to put them on. But otherwise, you're quite self-sufficient. Now, up above us here, this is a bed. Yeah. So at the moment we've got it raised, so you know I'm seven foot eight and I can walk along here easy. I'm not. I'm obviously just over five nine on a good day. Um, <laughs> but you know you've got plenty of space. Wendy's standing up where you guys are now, and she's got plenty of space. Obviously, when you're using the bed, now I'm just going to bring this yeah. down. Thank you, Wendy. So you'll see you can just do this with one hand. It's on gas struts. Yeah. And it literally comes straight down. Yeah. And, and then the mattress up there. that's it and then this is also a guard so kiddies yes. aren't going to roll out and then to put it back easy. it's as easy as that um, and you'd literally climb up on the seats where you guys are now and jump up very very simple or alternatively you've got a metal bar just here lift that pull those clever little um pieces of string to say that people have put on and the bed folds out i would strongly suggest if you're new to this come down and let's demonstrate it and we can show you how simple these are wendy's got one she likes them and rant and rave about them yeah. all day they're very practical vans a lot of people buy these and use them as their main vehicle because you're, you're a bigger state car really yeah. but then when you want to go away you've got everything you ever need yeah. um so this will be on sale a little later today give us a ring uh, my name's james um, one thing I will mention before I do go, and I do apologise, it's normally the first thing I do and I completely forgot, is the cab. Um, so in there you've got your uh, multimedia system in the front yep. uh, with all your connections, heated front screen on there as well, yep. air conditioning, you've got cruise control, electric windows, electric adjustable wing mirrors as well, um, yep. auto headlights. It's actually a really healthy spec in there, really, really healthy spec. Um, and like I say, only 73,000 miles. Yeah. It's, it's nothing for the age of it. Cool. Anyway, like I was saying, come down, ask myself. My name's James. Give me a ring. Ask if it's still available. I'll happily work out some figures for you, so on and so forth, and go from there. See you soon. Cheers.